Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash petty revenge. In today's episode. Refuse to give a painkiller to someone crying in pain? Congrats on failing your final. It's MY account. Neighbor asks me to spray his weeds. Dump me and use my camping gear with your ex? Get lost, literally. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. Refuse to give a painkiller to someone crying in pain? Congrats on failing your final. Two years ago, I used to share an apartment with my sister and two other roommates, in the flat next to us lived three girls whom we've known for years as we all used to live in the same dorm years ago plus their two new roommates whom we didn't know well. The other girls were messy and kinda immature because they were younger than us but we all mostly got along since we go way back. This one time my sister and one of our roommates got into a huge argument with the girls from the other flat because of them taking utensils and clothes from our place without permission and losing them, I didn't participate in the argument but there was obvious tension between the two flat residents. Anyway, a few days after that, after a long day of being cooped up in the library preparing for a difficult final, I got home late at night and there was only one of my roommates home that night, pretty much as soon as I got home my face started swelling up and my tooth started aching like crazy, I was in so much pain I started crying and there were no painkillers and I had no way to get out to the pharmacy that late at night. My roommate, who also had nothing to do with the argument earlier, knocked on the door of our next door neighbors and one of their newer roommates whom we barely knew answered the door. My roommate then explained the situation to her and that I'm in excruciating pain and asked if she could borrow some painkiller. The girl looks my roommate up and down and tells her oh, I have painkillers but I'm not gonna give them to her because I'm the sister of the girl who got into a silly argument with. Her roommates, obviously I'm stunned someone can be this petty but I let it go and I survived the night. Now here for the pettiness on my behalf. A few days after I happen to be home late at night and I hear the doorbell ring, I open the door and lo and behold, it's the same girl who refused to spare me an ibuprofen a few days ago, except of being snarky she looked super distraught and defeated, she looked both surprised and relieved I was the one who answered the door that night. She opens her mouth, ah, I'm sorry. I don't know how to say this, my charger died on me and I have a final tomorrow morning and a submission now and I just started preparing, I know you have one like mine and I was wondering if I can borrow yours? Obviously she was down on her luck that day because I wasn't my usual generous self, I looked her up and down and said no, sorry, I'm using it right now. And shut the door in her face. This might be the pettiest thing I've ever done in my life, but I don't exactly hate myself for it. It's MY account. Backstory. I, I had finally went fully in sea with my parents. I love them but I don't think we've ever really liked each other. They were controlling and judgmental and honestly just a lot to deal with. Their love was conditional and if you weren't doing things or living the way they wanted, they'd cut you out of the family's life until you got back on track. They already had little access to my life, but one thing I did allow them access to was my streaming services. I have basically all of them and gave my parents the usernames and passwords. My parents did end up making a lot of their own accounts because somehow my accounts would end up being used by people I never gave access to, so I changed my passwords every so often to kick the outliers off and they got tired of having to ask me. The only account they still used was their favorite My Apple TV. I had personally logged into it on only one TV in their house because I didn't trust them with the password to my entire Apple account. I honestly rarely used Apple TV, if it wasn't Ted Lasso or a movie I bought slash rented I didn't really care. My parents were constantly on it, once they even called me upset because I started watching one of my movies and they had been watching it at the same time and I guess it messed up and started over lol. A month on NC goes by and I decide I want to watch one of my purchased movies. And what do I see? My parents who apparently want nothing to do with me are still enjoying their favorite shows on MY account, not giving a damn. Blackbird, Loot, For All Mankind, Players, The Banker my whole up next feed was filled up with their shows. I was pissed. The audacity of verbally abusing me to the point where I went and see but still using my shit, it's astounding honestly. 
So right there and then I logged into my Apple account, changed the password twice and logged out of all devices. The small chaos that ensued gives me giggles to this day. Apparently, my mother was I in the middle of the finale of Loot when I logged her out and season 3 of C was two days from being released, my dad's a huge fan. According to my inside source, they ranted for days about how petty I am and how low I had to stoop to kick them off when they weren't doing anything wrong. How dare I do this to them, unprovoked and out of the blue. What a horrible daughter I was to snatch away something so meaningless, something I didn't even use anyway. I don't know if they ended up making an account of their own or gave up all I know as it makes me giggle every time I see a commercial for an Apple TV show, knowing I got the smallest of petty revenges. Neighbor asks me to spray his weeds. My, my neighbor, a 70 years old Vietnam vet named William just moved in next door, good sense of humor, bit cheeky etc, always about the last dollar etc. Asks me if I can spray his weeds as well when I'm doing my edges. Sure, they'll leave you a bill, I said cheekily. His lawn is horrible, being ripped up in two months for a garden bed etc. I say sure, why not? Spray all the thistles, flat weeds and other nuisance stuff. In the middle of the lawn I spray the word bill and weed killer, two weeks go by. He is sitting on his front veranda staring at the lawn as he does. Confused look on his face, why did you spray these spots? Pointing at the center of the grassy area. I said stand one halfway down your path and have a look. There he can clearly see the word. Bill left on his lawn. He asks why did you do that? I said I'd leave you the bill. To this day we both still laugh about it, especially his wife, he was so confused about the pattern for a solid week. He didn't mind as the grass was being ripped out in a few weeks later. Still makes me laugh. Dump me and use my camping gear with your ex? Get lost, literally. To start. I don't write things often. Please be patient with me. Background story. I was engaged to my ex and we were together for five years. I helped raise his son while raising my own daughter. Our wedding date was almost set. Long story short, I spent years supporting him while he worked his way up in his career while putting my dreams on the back burner. I snapped one day in a state of depression. He happened to be in a wedding with his ex after this happened and reconnected with her. He used my depression as a reason to leave me and then he proceeded to break up with me at the wedding. Afterwards, he got back with her. St story. After he broke up with me, I was a mess. Heartbroken and embarrassed. We lived together and he packed a bag and left to stay with friends the next day. He still wouldn't answer me if he left me for his ex. However, I paid our cell phone bill. I was able to see that he was calling and texting his ex a lot before our breakup. Another stab towards everything I did for him. The revenge. He asked to stop by and asked to borrow some of MY camping gear, he said he was taking his son. I said fine, but after he grabbed everything I shortly found out, he was meeting his ex to go camping. At first I was pissed. Demanded he pay to rent out my things to go camping. But then calmed down and wanted revenge. As I mentioned, I paid the phone bill. And one thing I could do, was turn off our data. I knew his work schedule and knew he was heading to the campsite after he got of work. I waited until I knew he would be I his car and plugging in the address to the GPS. I waited about 20 minutes and turned of his data. Meaning he would need Wi-Fi for his directions. I waited the two hours till I knew he would finally probably get there and turn it back on. Aftermath After I turned it on, and he was back there on Wi-Fi, he texted me asking if I paid the bill and that he had to stop at many gas stations on the way for directions. I played dumb and said that my phone had also been glitchy, and I just had to turn it off and back on. He responded that his that worked and his data was working again.
It was a small payback. But at that moment, I had the biggest foo grin on my face for hours. And felt somewhat vindicated that his 30 minute drive took two hours. Also demanded my gear back the next day. Which I got. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you in the next video.